Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start to a brand new week, and maybe the beginning of the real team of the season hype because today we have new team of the season voting. We voted on community team of the season, but today we're moving on to the next voting, and that is Premier League. So we're going to have some big cards, some big names to vote on today as a part of that. And of course, prices are falling. We have to talk about the market after yesterday's crazy W content with the Bonucci SBC and the 87 plus player pick for the Fantasy Foot Heroes and the World Cup Heroes. Prices are going like crazy. And will they continue to fall if Team of the Season hype really comes out today. We'll also talk about how there was a huge glitch in the game yesterday. I think EA have fixed it, but shout out to the YouTube comments because that's where I first saw this glitch. And I think a lot of you guys, I don't know if you guys took advantage of it, but uh, they did remove the objective that was causing the glitch. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. If it helps out, I'll do the same. And subscribe if you're new. Let's move on and first talk about the content that was dropped yesterday. Like I said, it was a crazy day yesterday with the big SBC Bonucci, right? We knew this leak. We were expecting this SBC soon. EA did a W boost on this Bonucci card and they dropped it at an insane W price. Medium high work rates, four star weak fill, which is nice. 84 pace, that was a big thing with this card, right? We needed to have a really good pace stat. 92 defense, 87 physical. He is medium high with that four star weak foot. Great reactions, great composure, great passing. Really great all around, a W price, and of course, great links. A lot of great serial links with this card. This is causing, once, like we saw last week, uh, with the Carlos Alberto SBC, we saw center back prices drop off a ton. We had that same situation once again, and even more so, I would say, with this Benucci, since it's even more affordable. 95% upvote for this 140,000 coin Benucci card. This one's even tempting for me to do, like comparing him to the Koulibaly Team of the Year honorable mentions. Does he get into my squad for that? I'm not entirely sure, but an insane SBC for so many budgets. And if you take a look at center backs, this is how all their graphs look. Upa from 250 all the way down to 200K. This guy's getting an upgrade, by the way. He's going to a 90 rated card in the next couple of days as these foot fantasy up or, uh, do some upgrades here soon. Center backs everywhere, even Saliba, right? 450K for this card, who was 590,000 coins down to 450. It's a crazy cheap price, of course, looking like he's not going to go and get himself off any upgrades so center backs are down like crazy and then your Juve links and your Serie A links are up like crazy right Fagioli was 37k up to 50 right now El Shirag was about 45 and he is now up to 57 almost 60,000 coins so we have tons of prices going up tons of prices going down I think again really today with the content and what we learned about team of the season is really what's going to start to kind of set the tone for this week on the market and we'll talk about that a bit more but that Bonucci SBC in combination with the 87 plus World Cup or Fantasy Foot Hero player pick coming back, this time at a better value, 276,000 coins. It's pretty heavily downvoted, but let's be honest. I think that downvoting is coming from last time when this was released. The weight on it was absolutely terrible. I don't know if you guys remember this when it was dropped last time, but the weight was terrible. It seemed like every single um, you know pick, it was just the World Cup heroes and no Fantasy Foot card. Cards. It doesn't seem like the weight is incredible this time, but it seems a little bit better. It seems like the Fantasy Foot Heroes are popping a little bit more from this, but also I like that EA made it cheaper. Only two squads to get this one done as well, 86 and 87, so not too bad. It did make some fodder prices move, especially in that 86 to 87 range. I think 86s were about 12,000 coins, 13,000 coins. Uh, at some point during the weekend, maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, 13k. They spiked to around 15 to 16. 87s went from about, you know, I think 17,000 coins up to about 20k where they are now. So that was kind of most of the fodder market moves. Actually, 21k for Thomas Muller there. So some good fluctuations on those. The lower tier that we have invested in, right? We club stocked the 83s to the 86s. I would still be holding on to those cards because if we do get more team and season news today. And if we do get the beginning of the team of the season warm-up series, that could mean these cards do continue to go higher. So we will take a look at that here in a second. But I do want to also talk about the glitch, right? And I want to give some shout-outs to the YouTube comments because that is where I first learned of this glitch. If you may notice in objectives, uh, the daily dip objective is no longer there. And that was the really cool objective that we had added on Friday that was play three games a day, score a certain number of goals, 
and uh, you got some packs and a coin boost, right? And it was a really W objective because you could do it every single day. And it kind of like, you know, gave us some motivation to play the game to get some extra packs. Well, uh, EA seemingly have patched it because they removed the objective, the daily dip objective is no longer there. Uh, but I think a lot of people were able to take advantage of this glitch while it was live. Of course, I don't know if EA is going to ban or do anything along those lines because this isn't the sort of thing like Foot Champs rewards a while back when Foot Champs was glitched. They did some banning for that. This one to me, you know, it's a gameplay objective. It's not like anything super crazy, like one of the competitive modes like Foot Champs. So I don't think there's really bans that are going to happen, but a lot of people were able to take advantage of this while it was messing up. Basically, what was happening is uh, you could play one game in the daily objective, and then you would score five goals in that game, claim two packs, uh, and then if you quit ultimate team and come back in, it would all reset for you and it would be there again and you could play another game and score five goals in it and then you could go get those packs. It was kind of like an unlimited little bit of a pack glitch, right? That was the issue. And uh, I mean, I think this was live for almost most of the weekend, I think, before people figured it out yesterday on Sunday. But it, of course, is patched because uh, that objective is no longer in the game. But it was kind of a little, uh, I guess, like, yeah, duplicate like pack glitch that you could get not that the packs are that great um but uh yeah so hopefully we see the return of that sbc it's kind of funny because that was the first ever repeatable objective uh that ea had ever ever dropped and then of course there was a big issue with it and it was glitched so that was kind of wild but um you know watch out for that objective potentially returning let me know down below if you uh took part in that at all if you were able to take advantage of it i did not but hey it is what it is glitches happen and uh, EA were actually pretty fast acting with that one. So that's no longer there, but that was kind of big news from yesterday. Let's talk about today, though. Moving into today on Monday, of course, we look at upgrade packs as a part of the content. But today, if you did not know, is another day of Team of the Season voting. And I really think that it could be the beginning of maybe that TOTS warm-up series as well. We'll save that for a little bit later. But according to EA's website, today is obviously the 17th. We are going to be voting on Premier League Team of the Season. And right, I think today the level of hype for Team of the Season just automatically is going to go up because now in this voting, we're going to see some of the big names that we wanted to see or that a lot of people wanted to see during Community Team of the Season, right? A lot of people are saying, why wasn't I seeing Holland and Rashford and all these big name players in the Community? Community vote, right? Well, of course, that's community team of the season. If you're not familiar with how team of the season works, the big names, the most consistent players, those are in the specific league team of the seasons. We're going to start to see those today. Like I said, Holland, the Rashford, um, all the, all, there's going to be a ton of names. Like we had a really long list of players that were in the community vote. There's going to be a really big list of players today in the Premier League vote as well. So again, a very short voting time frame. We're going to vote from today on the 17th until the 20th, and then it's over. And of course, the community vote has been over. That was only three days long. But I do think that today this is going to just bring some more hype. I hope that EA don't let this vote fly under the radar because with the community tots vote, we never had a loading screen. We never had much more than just a tweet from EA about this voting. I, I hope today they make more of a big deal of it because if team of the season is is really going to be like as soon as this coming Friday, then uh, I hope they start to push the hype. And that could also mean the start of the warm up series promo. Now, with that one caveat in mind, I do want to see, I want to show you guys the Community Tots little website here and some updated guess. I guess like it's kind of like an Easter egg for me, a little bit of a hint here. They have said, meet the Community Tots later this month. The votes for FIFA 23 Community Team of the Season are being counted. Come back in late April to see who made the squad. That right there is interesting. They're kind of giving us a hint. Late April is when Community Tots is going to drop. I wish we had dates of when the Tots were going to drop on this webpage. We only have dates for the voting. But we've had we have had two dates in mind, right? We've had the 21st of April and we've had the 28th. Which one is it going to be? This saying late April almost makes me think it might not be this Friday and it might be the 28th. But I would also say that the 21st of April could be considered late April since it's past like two thirds of the month, you know, so late April. Technically, this Friday would be late April, I guess. So uh, that's just kind of throwing some question marks into my mind. Hopefully we get some more news, leaks or information. But what do you guys think? What does that mean for you? What do you think Community Tots is going to drop? It makes sense that it would be this Friday 
It also makes sense that it would be next Friday with the end of the season. They could do a full week of Tots warm up if it wasn't to start today. So that's still the big question. Watch out for leaks. Watch out for news and information along those lines because that's really, if we move the turn in to talking about the market right now, that's really where uh, a lot of our market movement over the next couple days is going to be stemmed from. Are we going to see a lot of more panic selling? Are we going to see prices continue to drop because team of the season is officially confirmed and it's going to be in the next four days? Or is it going to be another week where we have to wait again for a big promo of team of the season because we've got, um, you know, that's the 28th and not the 21st. So that's a big question that I have right now. But with the TOTS voting today, just to kind of wrap this up, I do believe there will be some more team of the season hype with this Premier League voting. I can't see EA just letting this fly under the radar completely, especially because it's the first big major league of team of the season. So I think some of the TOTS hype is going to be there. How, how is that going to affect the market, right? Of course, I'm not trying to buy too many cards right now, although, man, it is tempting, right? You take a look at a guy like Upa Makano, who is getting an upgrade. Like we mentioned, a fantasy Upa is going to be going up to a 90 rated card in the next two days. His price is down 50,000 coins. Ruben Diaz, who I bought and traded with a little bit, his price is down. Emre Chan, his price is down. Those are just the live cards, right? If we take a look at the foot birthday Marquinhos, and some of these guys' prices, man, are just down so low that it's almost ridiculous 340k 330,000 coins for this Marquinhos foot birthday that's was 600,000 coins he's down 50% in two weeks because of a Carlos Alberto and a Benucci SBC so on one hand I'm like wow some of these card prices are very cheap but on the other hand I'm like if we're gonna get some more team of the season news and if the hype is gonna start to build once again for that I don't want to spend too many coins and buy too many cards because I think that could create another round of panic and another round of selling on this game. So we look at Gold Mbappe, right? As are always kind of like a barometer for the market. Gold Mbappe is down. He is about 390,000 coins. He dropped off from 430 where he was yesterday. The combination of Bonucci and the hero player pick, I think, has his card down in price. And, you know, we might have a couple market movements today. The Titans cards have been really fun to trade with during the weekend. I, I can't lie. Gerard last night was a W buy. He went up uh, like 30, 40,000 coins. So we were able to make some good coins there. Owen has been such a good card to trade with because he fluctuates a lot. And I think a lot of people want to try him. I could see some some prices moving up today into the content drop a little bit unless we start to get leaks as people want to get on the game and try out some new cards, right? Uh, there is going to be some gameplay demand for the cup mode, but there is a lot of loans in that mode though, so that's not people are not buying teams for that. Um, so that may not in fact impact the uh, meta market as much, but I still think you'll see a little bit of a Monday morning market rise today. I'm keeping an eye on some of these Titans cards, but it really comes down to the leaks. And if we're getting tots warm up starting today or dates about team of the season, if we get some actual concrete evidence that team of the season is going to be starting this Friday, I do think prices could end up going down after the content drop today. So that's kind of the that's kind of where my brain is at right now with this market. We all know we're kind of still waiting, right? But are we going to have to wait another week longer or is it just going to be like a couple more days before we see some of these really, really low points? Now, I do want to say about this as well. Watch your live cards. If you're going to try to trade anywhere today or in the next couple of days in this game, live cards are probably going to be one of your safest bets. Like this Oop Makano, he's getting an upgrade. I know he's a center back. The panic selling on center backs, probably their prices are going to stay pretty low into the next couple of days. Some of them could bounce back ever so slightly. Um, it just kind of depends on the card and how rare it is. Ruben Diaz is 596, right? He was 660. He's not down that much compared to some of the others, but you never know. Um, so just try to trade with, you know, what th one thing you could do if you want to trade with some of the center backs is go back to last week when Carlos Alberto was dropped and look at some of the center backs that had good rebounds uh, from that low point. Flipping graphs go back two weeks now. You can go back, do a little bit of research if you want to trade there. But just be careful with the way that the market is right now because if we get more TOTS news, I do believe that it could go lower. Now, let's talk about a couple more things. Today's content, Monday. What are we going to see today on this game uh, that you know could impact the market other than the team of the season stuff that we have mentioned? Upgrade packs, right? And hopefully, upgrade packs are solid again this week. Last week, we had the 82-plus player pick 10 times a day and the 81-plus player pick 
uh, unlimited times. If they were to do that again, that would be fantastic. I know personally, I would love to start uh, continue crafting on some SBCs, whether it's just 87 plus, maybe Benucci to get done. Uh, maybe you work on one of these other full birthday SBCs that are still here or any of the icon SBCs that are still available. Carlos Alberto, Perez, Raul, right? We've got so many great SBCs available right now. I would love to craft just a little bit or at least have an opportunity to craft or maybe st uh, stack some upgrade packs for team of the year. So if we're going to get some upgrade packs today, sorry, not team of the year, team of the season. If we're going to get some upgrade packs, gold comments have maintained kind of a higher price over the weekend because of the uh, double 80 plus uh, that is still there. Like the, the crafting objective for the trophy Titans promo. Uh, so gold commons are up gold rares. I believe are just about this card. It might be worth doing a club stock on some gold rares here at 650 to 700. If we do get another good value upgrade pack SBC, those could go up if there are rares required. It's going to have to be an all rare squad requirement to see those go up. And comments could continue to rise into this week as well. Probably not too much over like 700 or 800 coins. But, you know, maybe you, you put a couple comments in the club if you can at around... Uh, I don't know, like 550 or 600, just in case there are some non-rare requirements today. But at, at some point, the non-rares and the rares would have to go up together, right? Because if there's only a non-rare requirement for an 81 plus player pick, but like we always mention, buying the rares instead, usually the rares have to go up and match the price of the non-rares because you can just start buying rares at a lower price or at the same price instead of the non-rares. So Maybe a little bit of a club stock with that today. Of course, you got the cup grind for a Monday. I know a lot of us are trying to get these cup games in. I would be in that boat. I've only played one game so far. I got to get moving on this one to get my fodder packs to get those stacked up and moving on that. And of course, we do have one last SBC leak at the moment, and it is World Cup Figo is added to come as an SBC soon. Will you complete him? Uh, that's not a bad card. It's the only Figo with five star skills. So uh, that is a nice card. I believe that's the five star skills version, right? Doesn't this Figo have five skills? He's not a five weak foot. That's the other, that's Butragueno. He's got the five weak foot. Uh, but this could be a fun one. Yeah, five star skills. So, I mean, it should be pretty cheap as well. 500,000 coin card, 520K. Hopefully this SBC is like 400,000 coins. Not one that I think as many people would be interested in just because it's not as up to date of an icon like a team of the year or any of the trophy titans or anything like that. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, that could be a part of our content today as well. Other than that, I think maybe a gamble pack i mean if it is going to be the beginning of team of the season warm-up series that's the other part of the question mark for the content today we we could start to see packs like maybe in 83 times 10 last week we had the 83 times 15 maybe they would start to give out some of those sorts of packs or those player picks that have been added to the code that um we um haven't seen added yet into the game those could very easily be a part of this uh, team of the season warm up series is we're like, hey, stacking packs, EA's releasing SBCs and objectives to go and complete to save that stuff for a team of the season. So watch out for that today. That's again, as you've probably heard me mention many times this video, it's all about the team of the season hype today. Let's talk about fodder one last time as well, because maybe a last chance to get in. 83s, 850 coins, W, 84s, as close to 3 as you can get, W, 85s in the low 8K range, like 8.4 for that cost that's right there. That's a price that I like because that is little to no risk. You can stock that up. You can hold on to that. And we should see those still rising in the next week or two weeks. Again, it just depends on the team and season time frame, how long it takes for those cards to go up. But I'm going to be careful on the market today. Trading with maybe a few of these cards, just to kind of shout this out as well. Ruben Diaz, Up Meccano, um, Emre Chan are probably the biggest upgrades for these fantasy foot cards. I think there's a couple league games still today, so maybe these upgrades would take place tomorrow on Tuesday, uh, but I doubt it would be today. Um, we do have Champions League, so watch out for like Wesley Fofana. Again, I know that Chelsea are down, but they're not out. 170,000 coins for this card after he dropped out, uh, dropped a ton in price from 260. Like that's you know, 160 for me on this card might be a price that's low enough uh, to be a potential investment just because it's still alive and still a really good card. But that Bonucci SBC, man, is making things go down like crazy. So the market's going all every which way right now at the moment. We've got good content rolling out. I mean, there's too much, not too much to complain about, to be fair, because we've got a cup mode. We've got icons and packs that are packable. We've got WSBCs. 
and team of the season voting is going on as well. So if you're excited for the voting today, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. We're going to be voting and doing all sorts of stuff on the market and on the game today on stream. So if come through, link down below in the description. I will see you guys there today. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.